It's great to be back in Singapore, uh, what I always find one of the most interesting countries in the world to, to visit. And I'm honored to have this chance to speak here in this meeting uh, sponsored by RSIS. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, talk for a bit, and then I look forward to the, the give and take, to questions or comments or reactions. So I will leave at least half our time for that, because I look forward to, to learning from you all and hearing what you have to say. Uh, what I thought I'd do is uh, talk about some of the features of international relations in the 21st century, essentially the evolving, emerging world. Because even though this century is only 10 years old, 10 percent over, we're beginning to, I think, see uh, some of the outlines of, of history. And then I'll, I wanted to end with some of the questions that I think are now out there. Uh, so well, let me begin first with what I, what I know. You know. Here we are. It's um, late. It's October 2010. So just to take 10 seconds to situate us, it's roughly 20 years after the end of the Cold War, roughly two decades after the end of the Cold War, roughly 10 years, almost a decade after 9-11, and approximately two years since the financial crisis uh, erupted. So what do we know? What can we see? Uh, let, me, let me give about 10 or so features of the emerging international uh, system. One is the uh, diffusion of power. Essentially, uh, the, the wide distribution of power in many forms, economic, military, political, cultural, what have you, but also perhaps just as important uh, in the hands of many actors. This is not a period of history where one or two or four or five states dominate or control the world. Uh, this is a, a period in which dozens of states uh, have, an influ have significant power and influence. The fact that the G20 has grown up is not a coincidence. But it's also a time in which many actors other than states have significant uh, impact and influence. They can be benign, say, the impact of an organization like the Gates Foundation in the world of health. Its budget on ta tackling global health problems may be greater than any other single entity in the world. Or particular you know, financial institutions in private hands can control uh, portfolios that dwarf the GDP of many countries in